The Lenovo Legion Go is here at Micro Center, and we'll show you how to upgrade the SSD in your Legion Go. But first, check your local Micro Center, because we went ahead and we upgraded the Legion Go for you. Our base model of 512 gigabytes is available for $699, but for a one terabyte option, you can get it for $749 or a two terabyte option for $799. You can also purchase the SSD separately and upgrade the Legion Go yourself. Don't forget to max out your storage with an additional SD card so you can have three terabytes of storage like our unit here. Now let's dive into the process of upgrading the SSD. First, you wanna make sure you have a compatible SSD. The Lenovo Legion Go uses a 2242 SSD. While a 2230 SSD will fit in the M2 slot, there's no mounting screw for the 2230 on the board. We have a VisionTech 2TB 2242 M2 NVMe SSD that we'll be using for this upgrade. You'll also need an M2 to USB adapter to clone the SSD. Cloning is the way to go on this device. You don't want to install a blank SSD and try using a Windows USB key. We have two different M2 to USB adapters that we carry in stock, one with a USB-A and another with a USB-C. Obviously, you should go with a USB-C for better transfer speeds. We'll use one of these to house the old SSD and another to house the new SSD, and we'll use Macrium Reflect to clone the original SSD. It's highly recommended to use a toolkit for opening the Legion Go. We have this iFixit kit that comes with everything you need. We're going to use the plastic pry tool to remove the back paneling. There's a few plastic tools you'll want to use for removing the battery connector and covers from inside of the device and a screwdriver to remove the screws. Now that we have everything we need, let's upgrade the Legion Go. First, shut down the device and wait a minute for the device to fully power off. Remove the controllers. It's easier to work with the device with the controllers off, so you can lay it flat on a table. We worked on this wood desk and we had no issues working on the device and it didn't scratch the screen, but you wanna make sure you work on a clean surface free of any debris. On the back of the Legion Go are six small screws. Remove these screws and set them aside. We're using a magnetic tray to keep the screws in. This thing is great for holding the screws in place so you don't lose them. With the screws removed, we'll use the pry tool to start removing the back plate. When doing this for the first time, the back plate will be snug, so you want to do this carefully. We started at this little notch under the kickstand and we were able to get the pry tool in between the back plate and the device. There's plastic clips all around the back plate that keep it attached. You want to slowly slide the pry tool and pry the back plate away from the device. Try to not use too much force so you don't break any of the plastic clips. Once most of the back plate is pried away, you can pull the back cover off exposing the internal components. Now it's time to remove the battery power from the device. The battery plugs in here with this connector. There's a small sticker on the connector that helps keep it connected. Remove the sticker and set it aside. Using the plastic tools, slowly push the connector out of the connection. It's best to do this on either side of the connection and slowly push it out. The connector will be snug, so you want to do this slowly and not slip with the plastic tool while pulling it out. With the battery disconnected, we'll now remove the SSD. There's a sticker that covers the battery and the SSD. It'll take some effort, but you want to peel this sticker back away from the SSD. We didn't remove the sticker fully, we just pulled it back from the SSD. We did this a few times, so you can see that our sticker is already loose, but doing this for the first time will take some patience. The SSD is now exposed and we can remove it from the Legion Go. There's a single mounting screw. Remove this screw and set it aside. The drive can be simply raised and removed from the M2 connector. There's a metal sheath on the drive that should prevent interference with the wireless adapters on the Legion Go. You'll want to carefully unwrap this from the drive. We'll save this to apply it to the new SSD later, so take care when removing it. Now we have our original 512GB SSD removed, and we're ready to clone this drive to the new 2TB SSD. We'll place the original SSD in one of the M2 to USB adapters. There's a small rubber grommet that fits in the mounting slot and the drive simply slides into the connector and clamps down with the rubber grommet. We'll do the same for the 2TB SSD, inserting it into the M2 connector and using the rubber grommet to hold the drive down. 
I really like this inland adapter since it can convert any M2 drive into a USB hard drive and it has a nice enclosure for travel. We have both hard drives connected to our studio PC and we'll start the cloning process. When I plugged in the original 512GB SSD, it showed up with all the files. The 2TB SSD is not formatted, so it didn't show up. I went ahead and formatted the drive in disk management so it mounts and shows up at a drive. Now you can see the two drives in disk management. Macrium Reflect is a software that you can use for cloning and they have a free trial available. We have both drives mounted and showing in the software. Now, this is very important. Don't make the mistake that I made on the first go around. When I cloned this for the first time, I made an image on the 2TB SSD that was only 512GB, which was a big mistake. So pay attention when you're using the Macrium Reflect software. On the original drive you want to clone, select it in Macrium Reflect. Under the drive, you'll see a Clone This Disk option. On the pop-up window, select the target disk to clone to, which will be our 2TB SSD. The important setting that you need to check is on Copy Partitions and select Shrink or Extend to fill the target disk. Now you can see the original disk with the Windows partition at 474GB and the Windows partition on the new SSD with 1.82TB. Click Next and follow the prompts that are shown to you on Macrium Reflect to run the cloning. The clone took a few hours, mainly because one of the SSD adapters I used was a USB-A adapter. So don't make this mistake and use a faster USB-C adapter for this. It is possible to do this with a single adapter, but I found it easier to have two adapters handy. When the cloning is complete, take the new drive out of the SSD enclosure and we're ready to install it into the Legion Go. Place the sheathing on the new SSD and insert the SSD into the M2 connector. Make sure the drive is in place and screw the mounting screw. Place the sticker back over the drive. Reconnect the battery to the battery connector and place the sticker back on the connector to keep it from getting loose. Take the back plate and place it back on the device. Gently apply pressure when doing this. Start with the corners and work your way around, making sure all the plastic connectors are pushed back into place and the back plate is completely flush. Insert all six screws back into the device. Attach the controllers and we're ready to boot the Legion Go. Press the power button and wait for the device to boot. It'll take a minute for it to fully boot for the first time. So just be patient at this part. You'll see the Lenovo loading screen pop up and eventually you'll be greeted with your Windows login screen. Now you can check the storage and you'll see that we have 1.82 terabytes available. I also have this one terabyte SD card. We'll insert this into the SD card slot. Give it a moment to read the card and you'll see that we have an additional 953 gigabytes of storage available. This Legion Go has three terabytes of storage, or 2.76 terabytes to be exact, which is pretty impressive for a handheld gaming device. You'll be able to fit a bunch of games from your game library or one copy of Call of Duty. And remember, if this process seems like too much, you can come to your local Micro Center and pick up an upgraded 2TB Legion Go. We did all the hard work for you so you can get right into your gaming. What are you going to play on your Legion Go? Let us know in the comments below. And if you made it this far in the video, comment hashtag I want a Micro Center near me.